Welcome back. Yesterday, I, I've come across the news that Germany is um, in the process of um, thinking about sending back the Syrian refugees that they um, took in. I think the number at the time was mentioned. It was 800,000, I believe, was around that might be totally off but that's why I remember and he was saying that apparently is the the highest number in Europe or something like that and they were looking uh they look uh, the Germany looked um quite well because they were helping the Syrians which was a good thing at the time however now um they're thinking of deporting them back to Syria and um, their grounds some of the people that are deporting will be ones who were allegedly dangerous criminals now firstly when they were in Syria what did they see what did they experience and they they just bring that back over here or back to Germany let's say uh, back, uh, bring it over to Germany so you should have I'm not saying it's just Germany's fault but I'm just saying that you could have provided support in place where you help them speak about and get over what they've experienced and um, make them realise that these things aren't normal and when they're in Germany or whatever country they go to that some of the things aren't acceptable so they can't be doing it here also sending them back to somewhere where it's safe so at the moment is Syria safe I don't think so so sending them that back what, what, how are you helping them you're just saying that we can't deal with, we can't deal with you so let's just send you back and what's that going to do that's just going to make the situation worse and if if um, you know the situation is bad in Syria as it is then sending them is not going to help them it's more like going to kill them or make them seriously injured and it's going to always going to add more to their uh, um, deteriorated health both physically and mentally and they're not going to be supported and all that good that you did bring them in it's just going to tarnish it and even then, a very small number of those Syrians have done anything bad, like criminally or whatever way they've done something bad. So most of them haven't. So why was the point of sending them back? There's no reason behind that. But from what I'm getting is they're gonna use that use the excuse as we're sending criminals back. But you're gonna send a a, a, lot, a large number of people who aren't criminals. But you're gonna uh, disguise it as you're just sending criminals back. And it's one thing if you send them back to a stable country where they're going to be safe and and you can ensure that everything's going to be fine. But sending them back to a war zone where they'll be fighting going on for 10 years or plus is not something that needs to happen. They need to think about it carefully and put, plan carefully to where they want to send them back if they are going to send them back. But I'd hope that everyone ensures that we come to a amicable agreement and that we ensure that they aren't sent back if it's possible because very few are criminals and Germany is handling them very well and Syrians have integrated into their society and even in the UK from where I am I can see Syrians they've been contributing and they've been making a livelihood contributing to the economy uh, learned good English it's not like they're doing nothing and last thing that I wanted to say is um like it's COVID-19 right now we're going through it that makes it worse and in Syria where they, the hospitals if there are any are not as good as what they can be and with the wars and everything else now is not the time to send them back now is the time to keep them and the fact that they even thought of sending them back is 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 just some, not something I thought they would think about and I think more people need to be aware of it 
and something needs to be done to ensure that they don't send them back and they need to find a solution which isn't just we can't handle the refugees let's send them back we let's send them back let's deport them let's do this let's do that that's not our long-term solution that's the easy lazy route to sending them back that's not and also i'm pretty sure germany has had some say had in what's going on in syria i'm sure they've been on the ground at some point i'm sure they've sanctioned some things i'm sure so maybe they were part of the problem of creating refugees so if you were part of the problem of creating refugees then you you've got to be part of the solution of taking in refugees otherwise don't be part of the problem in the first place okay so that's all i wanted to say keep it short and brief but on. listen to it and make sure you share it because it's not on the main news sites i had to find very bit um i'd find a quite a few reliable sources to find out the information but it's not on the main news sites so make sure you share it